You are... I was talking about masticating. Oh you are a bonehead. We dump what the guy says, and then you just... Re oh, well, all it got, all it could have gone by, and then he says it again. Guitar man. Hey. How you doing? What'd you call me? Oh. This line on. This line is on, but barely. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from home. Why are you on an extension? I'm on an extension. You are on an extension here. How, how did that happen, Adam? I'm down in the control room. He dialed the main number, and this is we have our own number in here. He oh, do you? you guys got like a little private line? Warm That's man. what you're doing when I don't got any calls. Okay. Drive home with us today. Listen, <laughs> have your say. I have to tell you, thanks a lot for that farts line thing you guys gave out yesterday. I dialed oh, it up. Here I'm telling Suds, I said, don't say anything. I want to record this. I want to use it. Uh, oh, I'm into it, man. You're Boogie, and don't start talking to me now, Boogie. Now let's do it again. Okay. Drive home with us today. Listen and have your say, yeah. It's Rick and Suds on the new WIOD Studs and doing the greatest show today. Yeah, all right. I love you, man. Oh. And I stepped on it yeah. anyway. Did <laughs> Could you do it again? <laughs> yeah, one more time from the top. You're the best, man. I love you. I would give you a big kiss right on the lips, maybe tongues. Okay. Uh, so what's going on with the fart line? Dude? Uh, I don't know. It was just that little thing yesterday, and it didn't seem to be much to it. Of course, we didn't explore it all that much. Well, the Internet thing is pretty interesting. I yeah. Well, I gave that out to you. I knew a lot of our audience would be there last night. Well, I called in. And I got the password. The password does not work. I logged on. They wouldn't let me on with the password they gave me. I spent a dollar ninety nine a minute to get. Oh, wait a second. When we called in, what was that all about? I didn't catch that part because we only went with the free stuff. We were still being a dollar ninety nine a minute. Well, if you go on the if you go on the computer on the internet, yeah, www.farts.com. Right. You get on, and if you want to get into the archive, you have to have the password. Okay. To get the password, you got to dial up the one nine hundred all farts. Ah. And stay on the line, and they'll give you the password. Well, the password is uh, the first one is L O O K, small small letters, and then wait wait, wait like small letters or small small letters. Small small letters. Okay. Oh, okay. L O O K. Yeah. And then for the second one. Yeah. Well, I call it small. All right, lowercase. Yeah. <laughs> no, I like okay. that. Small, like small letters. Not just small letters. I didn't know, you know, what shift key to push for the small, small letters. The little, small letters. The little, small letters. Small. Okay. All right. And, well, anyway, just L-O-O-K. Yeah. And the second one, which is the one that you get the stars for, yeah. is X-E-X-P-R-E-S-S, -E -S -S, Express. Okay, look Express. Yeah. And All right. I, and I dialed it on, and it, and it just kept flashing it back up. No, wrong, do it again. Well, that's dead. Yeah, well, I'm going to call them back up again. Yeah, and, and not only that, when you call them up again, well, maybe, uh, do you have to get it from the website? No, you get it from the thing, you right? you got to call the 900 number. Is it automated? Yeah. Okay, yeah, well, why don't we call it, and we'll get it and give it out to everybody for free? You get the same thing I got. It'll be Look, look Express. Look Express, huh? And you go to use it. It doesn't work. Now, you sure you, uh, well, yeah, again, somebody will call in, because I know they did it last night. Maybe they found, like, a little trick or something. But I dumped a lot of waves. I got a nice little, little I got a nice little collection of farts over here. If you want to, can you match farts with farts? No, I, well, hang on. <laughs> you know, we got the three sixty. No, can't. Oh, okay. So here, well, here, here. All right. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they do we you? Bad boys, bad boys. Thank you. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll uh, have to stop by sometime on the afternoon show if you would do that. Well, my my new CDs are out. Are they? I'm a star, like Boca Bryan. Oh, oh, fact, oh well, <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, in fact, Boca Bryan's been called to Hollywood. They want to paint him and use him as a set. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, if you want to push the CD and you want to come down and spend a little time with us in the well, afternoon, I, anytime. I don't want to horn on your center one thing. That's the only thing about it. Oh, that's true. 
But I'm, okay, I'm, well, I'm then let's wait till the... You, I'm, I'm going to stop by and give you guys 10 to give out. And there you go, and we'll play it, and uh, we'll differentiate, and then, you know, we'll do the push after the Center One deal is over after the first of the year. So how's the new studio? Uh, it's beautiful. Is Steve Nichols around? Uh, no, that's why it's beautiful. Oh, man, i got to love that. Yeah. Where's he? Is he, is he down in Miami? Or we Dustin don't or know. We No, we don't know. Good. Yeah, we're looking for the... <laughs> <laughs> Let him lie. Yeah, and, and, you, and you know what, Guitar Man, after that, I'm sure you'll be welcome anytime you stop by. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I always wanted to kiss that man. There you go. <laughs> All right. Well, it's nice to hear from you. Talk to you later. Okay. Let's try taking a break. Man, oh, man, time is flying this afternoon. Caught me off guard. Why? Because I have a song for you. Well, let's go. Let's get with it. You've been... Uh, Book of Brian is like 400 miles ahead of you. You better catch up, man. I know, he's he, running fast for a fat he's been, boy. He's been smoking it, yeah. Way down upon the north bay, cause the bay, far, far away. Oi! Stars where I met that fag, Neil Roger. Roy! And I avoid he's gay. All right. Yanking on my big banjo. We have an open line in day at 6229463. So what was it? The uh, Bisawani River? That's what it'd be. Okay. Talk in Entertainment Radio. 610 WIOD. Miami Fort Lauderdale. My wife left town with Hank Goldberg. What a lucky goat. Oh. Found a little chubby hiding in a tent. No, it wasn't. It was his overcoat. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it never that happens to funny. you. Hank Goldberg breaks your ratings in. I paid for the beer. My wife left the town with Hank Goldberg. Oh. My lady, these rings slipping. The ratings aren't slipping. The ratings aren't slipping today. I paid for the beer. Yeah, just waiting for that last note, and it never comes. That's what Tom Cruise said. 1202, it's good. Should old coaches go to hell and never brought to mind? Yes. Hey, the Shula is an old has been, and he kisses cocks behind. Closed doors. For Don should resign, my friend. For Don should resign. And Brian Cox will cut a heist and he can suck my dick. Oh! Oh! Hey! <laughs> Must be on the same stuff that the other guy was at the door. All right, here's your hundred grand, G man. Day at seven five one. Who's that in the bat line? Could be somebody pretty interesting. Who is that son of a bitch? Makes my freaking kiss keys twist. The dumbest jackass with a show, you know. Larry King blows. Yes. Phil had him by the cojones. A gullible pile of big bald bones. Uh -huh. You can stick his ass in a pile of snow because Larry King, he blows. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> What'd he say? Only $50. That's what I thought he said. Don't step on it now. Miami had Don Shula, but now he's his story. Yes! But now we have Jimmy Johnson, and that's okay by me. But we still have Cox and Kosar, and Dan's Titanic lips. No. And their sister Mary Mandich. Yes! another new ass to lick. No. 
smoke. Miami Dolphins are still oily. Oh! Ooh, I like that little uh, hum job there on the end. 128, must be almost time for the Hummer to come on, huh? Guess who's supposed to be on, and they wind up on another show at, like, you know, early in the morning on another station in town? You blow them off. You, know, you don't put him on. He, you know, if he came in and just said hello, but he said he played a few songs, and he hung out the whole hour and a half, and I had a feeling that it wasn't going to go over well, but, you know, Rick seemed Who's to that on the no bat problem. line? Guitar man? Okay, we'll get it straightened out. All right, see Thanks. you later. Now, what's the story? I came in at 4.30 to have Rick and Sud sign my guitar, and I want Randy to sign it, too, and I want you to sign it. Yeah. So I came in, and, and as soon as I came in, I shook hands with Adam, and Adam didn't say anything about don't go on with Rick and Suds. I didn't know anything about it. Well, why would, why would he say don't go on with Rick and Suds? Why would he assume you would go on when you well, agreed to be on her show? Well, I wasn't going to do any material that it was going to be. I didn't do anything that I was going to do on her show. All I did was Rick, Rick and Suds when there. Rick's like, Guitar Man, get in here, get in here. So I went in and I sat Totally down. wrong. Totally bogus, Guitar Man. Well, uh, Totally wrong. Randy taught me a lesson. Adam is absolutely right. He may be full of crap about some other things, but in this case, he's absolutely... Ab absolutely correct, sir. Trust me, you don't... You just can't... That's like shining somebody else. You can't do that. In other words, no matter how great you are, and you are, you just can only spread it so thin. Yeah, well, I... It wasn't tell, so tell Rick to get his own material. Tell him to uh, shove a uh, cellular phone up his nose. But uh, that's that's not good. Well, I, we're, I'm coming on again, and I promise I won't even, I'll, I won't even wave the Rick. Because this is starting to get like, and I'm not comparing the talent, but it started getting like Corey. Remember Corey? Mm -mm. Who did the dolphin rap? Oh, yeah. And was like uh, like uh, part of the window dressing here. I mean, like rounder. You just don't want to overexpose yourself, guitar man. Trust me, you're too good for that. I'll take that. That's uh, what Alan Sherman says. Well, I'll take that as, uh, yeah, I learned a lesson. Good. Great well, job, great job, Rick. Great job. Rick Riley is an imbecile. See, <laughs> even Reagan knows it, and he didn't even remember who that is. Well, everything's all settled out. Now. Okay, boy, you know, I go away for like a, a day, and it's like the whole like we had uh, an H bomb explosion around here. Oh, well, it was. It Everybody's was... out of control, and this one's telling stories. No, Neil's not going to be back, and we got the guitar man's guest is on here, and this one is. Uh, Oh, man, what the hell is going on? And you know why? Because there's nobody in charge. You've heard me say that a million times. You've done bits about it. There is nobody running the show here. If there was, the stuff that goes on in that sales department back, department back there, which is absolutely unacceptable by any standards of any common sense, it would not be allowed to go on. Oh. It just would, yeah, I have no idea what they do in all these goddamn meetings, but they're sure not taking care of business, I'll tell you that. Well, I'm new to radio, so I... Well, don't get I, too close I, to it. I... I Chalk it up. Stay right on the edges of it. I'm going to do that. Okay. Talk to you later, man. I love you. Love you. See ya. Good guy. Just uh, being, he's being used and manipulated by certain individuals. I don't want to mention Rick. And where's that damn CD, Rick? There's at least one. At least one. I'm not going to be this underling who gets to wait till you get sloppy seconds from Rick Riley on that rock comedy, okay? I gave up ACN so for the honor of all of us being on over there at WSUN, okay? All of us. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's poking pansies. <laughs> all right. Really? Yeah. Uh-huh. 